Good morning, MCA. Welcome to our very first chapel of the new year. I'm Mrs. Grady, and I'm so happy to be back as a member of the Metuchen Christian Academy staff, and I am looking forward to seeing you next week. So we're ready for worship, so let's pray together. Lord, Heavenly Father, we just give you thanks. We give you praise, and we give you honor. We thank you for this time that we set aside to worship you. We thank you for this time that we set aside to make you bigger in our minds and in our hearts. We love you, Lord, and we're so appreciative of what you have done in our lives. We can't thank you enough for all that you do for us and in us, Lord. So we ask that you would bless every watching eye, every listening ear, that you would bless them with the knowledge of your presence, the knowledge of your power, the knowledge of your grace, and your, the knowledge of your love that is strong enough to save and strong enough to light any dark path. Lord, we thank you for your word that is true and that is sharp and powerful. And we ask that you would just be glorified in all that we do and all that we say during this service. We thank you so much once again, and it is in the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Well, uh, I just want to share with you a little song that I wrote. I wrote it uh, years ago when uh, a friend of our family lost their mother and father within the same year. It was a young girl. I wrote it for her because I didn't have the words to share with her at the time. But as I thought about it, I said, I have a word for this young lady to help her be strong, even though she's uh, mourning, to help her have hope, even though she may be in despair. So I wrote this song called Rock. Some of you have heard it, and I wanna share it with you today. So enjoy, worship with me, and the movements are simple. If you want, every time I say rock, rock, you can just pound your fist, okay? The lyrics will be on the screen if you want to read them along and worship with me. So enjoy. I'll be right back with a message from the Lord. Undeniable, yet available and attainable Glory high above the heavens, yet he makes my life sustainable Goodness gracious, I can make it Mercy follows, inescapable Like a tick, I'm just gonna stick to heavenly hands And God's unchangeable God is a rock in a weary land A weary land A weary land My God is a rock in a weary land A shelter He's a rock, rock He hears me when I call He's my rock, rock My fortress and my all And he won't stop He's at the door saying just not Rock, rock Even when I fall He's a rock, rock He hears me when I call He's my rock, rock My fortress and my all And he won't stop He's at the door saying 
The afflictions of the righteous are not spared, but here's the promise. God delivers those who trust, so don't you doubt like my man Thomas. Heat and rain, hurt and pain, thunderstorms, they may astonish. Shepherd God always leads by still waters. Where is Thomas? God is the rock in no weary land. Oh, weary land. Oh, weary land. My God is a rock in a weary land. A shelter in a time of storm. Rock, rock. My God is always near. He's a rock. Rock, I never have to fear, he's my rock, rock He whispers in my ear and he won't stop He's at the door saying just not Rock, rock, my God is always near He's a rock, rock I never have to fear, he's my rock, rock He whispers in my ear and he won't stop He's at the door saying The 34th chapter in the book of Psalms Says the Lord is near to see you through your hurt and all your qualms Bless the Lord and taste and see and lift up high your holy arm Then anoint your head with oil from my Savior's healing balm God is a rock in no weary On my care, he's a rock, rock. I go to him in prayer. He's my rock, rock. He's present everywhere and he won't stop. He's at the door saying just not rock, rock. I'm casting on my cares. He's a rock, rock. I go to him in prayer. He's my rock, rock. He's present everywhere and he won't stop. He's at the door saying just knock. I'm back with a word from the Lord. As you can see, I'm still celebrating uh, Christmas. I haven't taken down my decorations. I'm actually in my Christmas tree pee. I still have some gifts here on, in, in my tree pee. And I love the lights in here. And I love just, uh, sometimes I listen to uh, my Christian devotional and music in here. And I just worship God in here. So I'm inviting you in here today to worship with me with a word from the Lord. There is this name of God that I have just been stuck on. And it's Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. And in Christmas time, we talk a lot about Emmanuel or we sing about Emmanuel but I want you to know that Emmanuel is just not a name for Christmas. It's a name that could help you for the new year. And it's a name that will help you remember to worship God all through the year. Jesus said this. He said, if anyone loves me, they will obey me. Then my father will love them and we will come to them and live in them. Wow. Almighty God, who created everything that we see, has said, if we love Jesus and if we obey Jesus, that the Father will love us and will come to us and come to live in us. That's what Emmanuel means. And so Emmanuel is going to help you pass any of life's tests. Anything that comes your way, God has the answers for it. And Jesus said in his word that if you ask, it shall be given. So Emmanuel means that you have God a prayer away. You can just ask for the answers of the test. Now this year I had a lot of life's tests. I didn't sometimes know what I was going to do with my life, but what I did was came to God in prayer and said, what would you have me do? Please give me the answers to this test. And God is true to his word. He gives the answers to life's tests. Another thing Jesus, our Emmanuel, has said is seek and you shall find. If you don't know what, why you're here, why, do, why are you on earth? Why did God make you the way he made you? 
What is God's plan for my life? Well, if you want to know those answers, Jesus said, seek and ye shall find. Well, you seek God by studying his word. Study who God is. Find out who God is so you can find out who you are. There's a place in scripture that says if, if one wants to find his life, he'll lose his life for Jesus' sake. So you search the scriptures to find out who God is, what his character is, what he's done for others, what, what he promises he will do. And then you will start to find out what your life is for. So seek and you shall find. Jesus, our Emmanuel, promises that if you seek, you shall find. Another way that Jesus Emmanuel helps us pass any test is, he says, knock and the door will be open to you. Well, I want to let you know that as Christians, we thrive in the presence of God. And you have fish, they thrive in the water. We have birds that they thrive in the air. But as a Christian, you thrive in the presence of God. That's where your strength comes from. That's where your power and authority comes from when you find time to get in the presence of God. Now, the song that I share with you, uh, Rock, it says, he's at the door saying, just knock, okay? So if you want to thrive in life, you need to knock on God's door and let him open it. Say, God, 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 I need your peace. Will you please open the door? I need that peace. Or God, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling a little anxious. I need more faith. And God can open the door to that for you. God, uh, I don't know how to love my enemies. I need more of your love so that I, I can love others. I'm knocking. Will you please just open that door to your love and it will be open to you. God is at the door saying, just knock. I will welcome you in. I will give you the grace that is sufficient to do anything. You have my power. Knock on the door. I'm going to open it and you can spend time in my presence and have everything that you need for life's test. So remember, Jesus is our Emmanuel. He says, ask for the answers of the test. He says, seek me, seek me, and you will find your own life. And then he says, knock, come into my presence and find that joy, find love, find peace, find all the things that the world will never be able to give you. I have those things for you. This is what Emmanuel means to me this year. And I hope that you can receive this message and realize that Emmanuel is with you and in you to help you pass any, any test, any test, believe it, any test, Emmanuel will help you pass it. Just ask, seek, and knock. Will you pray with me? Lord, Heavenly Father, we just thank you again for your goodness and your grace. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you are the God who not only sits high, but you're the God who comes to us and lives in us to help us through every situation. If we believe in Jesus, if we love Jesus, you will come to us and be with us and your grace will be sufficient for us. We thank you for this powerful word and we thank you for the awesome life that we have in Jesus. Lord, we ask that you would bless everyone as they go forward throughout the day. We ask that you would help them remember that you are God, Emmanuel, still with us, still in us, still working in power and reigning in might. So we thank you once again, Lord, and we ask that you would 
continue to be with us. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.